Hi. Hey, I'm here to uh, show you some uh, tearaway bead. I'm going to start doing some tearaway bead today. I just wanted to show you how I install it. I don't think I've ever done anything on tearaway bead before. So we're going to do that for the first time here. Uh, first thing I need to do is cut it to the right size. So bear with me here. This piece here. Let's see. I don't know where this camera can go better. So what I'm going to do is this piece goes on the bottom. This piece goes on the bottom here. Yeah, good. You can see me. You can see me good. Um, and we got to make sure that this gets in far enough. So if I if I can't get this in, I need to trim it back. So hang on a second. I didn't find my razor knife, but I found my my cue hole. So so they made this a little tight here and here. Now that fit through very, very nicely now. You just gotta make sure it slides all the way in, and it does. Okay, now, understand the edge. The edge of this, this right here, has to be the width of the drywall. So if this is quarter inch and I tried to put this on, it's gonna be sticking out like this. It's, it's not gonna be sticking out very well. Try to get this angle onto the side a little bit better. It would be sticking out like this, okay? It wouldn't be laying flat like it needs to. So that's why, that's why uh, this edge is half inch, this is half inch drywall. You can have five eighths and a five eighths inch edge. They actually make this stuff that's really wide and you can tear them down to the size that you need it. So this one here happens to be half inch half inch stuff and I'm good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on here like this. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and flush with this side. Quite honestly, I'm gonna use this probably to make sure that this lines up well. And it does, that lines up well. But I also wanna back cut this. I, I, I showed you how to back cut this on a different thing but it really wasn't very clear. So you wanna back cut it a little bit like that. I'm gonna stick this on right to the edge. Make sure I am right to the edge. Needs to go here. That's good, All right? And then I gotta cut it to size. It's a little long. Need to cut it down just a hair. Just a hair. I'm gonna back cut it. Again, double check. I gotta cut this again. Actually, this couldn't go here. That'll work. This will work. Now, to install this, I wanna throw a little bit of spray glue on here first. I like the spray glue. I, I really do for stuff like this. And then I'm gonna stick this on. You should wait a minute too for the spray glue because then it gets tackier. Stick this on. And then, if you need to push this tight to the, to the brick or whatever you have here, push it tight. Don't keep it tight to the drywall. Keep it tight to the surface that you're buttoned up against. That's, it's a much better fit. Now all they have to do is clean this off and caulk this. And then what I like to do is, I like to staple it down. Once I get it in place, I like to staple this down. So there's the bottom. Now these sides are gonna come in here like this, right? And what I wanna do too, I also wanna back cut these. So I'm gonna back cut this. And also always make sure, understand this is tearaway bead, so always make sure the wide stuff is going against the drywall because this eventually is just gonna get torn right off. Okay, once it's all finished and then it's gonna look like that, it'll be a nice finish on here. So now let me back cut this a second, like I did before. Make sure it lines up very well. 
You know what? I gotta trim this out again too because I've got they, the guys made it very tight. Okay, that's good. And I can stick this in, line it up, which is a really good line up there. And then I just have to trim this off. And the reason I did the bottom piece first is now these can these this is gonna get this is gonna get trim around here and stuff. So this can be off a little bit here. Okay, this can all be off a little bit here, but it can't be off here. It has to be right on here. So now, again, I'll double check it, double check it, triple check it, quadruple check it. You don't want to have to cut it twice and have it still too short. So it looks really good. You see my, my angle in here? I don't have a big buildup right here. So that'll work out really well. I'll take this down. Spray glue it. Stick it back up. Line it up well, and then staple it. All right, so I have that done. I'm this side done. Now let me show you what I have to do because uh, this is I've got a, a few of these and so I'm just gonna I'm not gonna be recording while I'm doing every one. So let me turn the camera around and you'll see I still have to do that side. Uh, where's the camera guy when you need him, huh? I still have to do that side. I have to do this window. I have to tape this wall a couple of spots and spot the screws up there. Then I have to do this window and those windows. So I have to do the four windows. And let me get the four windows done and I'll get back to you as I start to mud it up. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I've got them all in now, let me show you. So that one's in, ready to go. That one's ready to go. These I just need to tape, of course. That one's ready to go and that one's ready to go. So, now I just gotta mud them all in. I'm gonna tape, top, and skim this stuff today. Have it all ready to sand for tomorrow. They want to, they, they want to try to paint this before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's on Thursday. So I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna try to do a live feed on Thursday if I can. Uh, and I don't think why, I don't know why I shouldn't be able to. So let's see what happens. Okay, before I get any farther, let me show you what I have here. You see how I mudded that in? And understand I'm just, I'm just doing the edge of it. Just this lip, the inside lip where my thumb is. So all I have to do is fill that little lip in and, th and that's what I've been doing here. So I am mudding up right to See where my finger, this lip, see that lip? That's all the mud I need. It's just, I just want to fill this in. And I'm just using my six. I'm just using a six inch knife. I'll mud it in and I'm going to do it twice with my six and I'm, I'll skim it out with my eight, but I'll, I'll, I'm using hot mud right now. It's, it's a 20, 20 minute mud. So I'm going to hit it twice with a 20 minute mud and then I'm going to skim it out with topping and then it'll be ready to sand. So I'll show you when I, when I get them all taped topped and skimmed how they're ready to go. So, all right, I'll see you a bit. Okay, I'm back. My first coat is all set up, so I'm gonna show you what I do to get ready for my second coat. So, here we go. All I do is I just come in here and I just clean this up a little bit. You know, just try to scrape. See, it goes in there. And I just clean it up. I just scrape it down a little bit. Clean it up a little bit. My last one, I've done three of them already. So I just kind of scrape it, get any little chunks off. Make sure that this is clean. Make sure that this is clean. Scrape this down. See that little edge right there? So this is all set up, this is 20. And uh, 
And let me get my second coat on, all right? And I'll see you later. Sorry, I had to pull away for a while. I had to go show some property in downtown Glen Ellen. Um, like I said, I'm also a realtor. But I want to take, show you what I've done here now. I've got two coats of Durabond. One coat of regular Durabond. I'll show you. I put one coat of this on there. And then I did a coat of easy sand, 20. And now I'm about, I'm about to hit it with topping. Uh, pigmented plus three, that's, that's one of my favorite toppings. That It's pretty common around here. So I'm about to skim it all out with that. So I'll show you. I have that, that window, that window, these two seams. I did the high nails already. That window and that window. I'm gonna put a skim coat on those. I'm gonna put a skim coat on those. And when I'm done, I'll take another recording. And then I'll show you tomorrow when I come to sand, how I sand it and pull the tearaway bead and clean it all up. So, all right, I'll see you. I'll see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. So I decided not to wait until tomorrow to show you this because I had a piece that just about came off. But I want to show you something here. Okay. You see that line? There's a really fine line right here. This is the tearaway piece that tears off. Where you see the bigger piece of plastic, that's the edge of the drywall. So now we just have to caulk this in. If you see, we just have to caulk that in where that plastic meets the brick and it'll be just fine. But here I have a piece of plastic that started to peel off. So you see it? So I wanted to show you. So you just you just peel this off now. Once I I'll sand all of the other ones and I will just peel that off, peel that away. And now if I look if you look at it this way. It started to come off anyway, but I gotta clean this up. <clears throat> but now it's just that little piece of plastic, just that little piece of plastic, button up, you know, in here so this can just get caulked in and it'll be fine. So if you see it's nice and flat, you'll see the other edge down there because the tearaway bead's still on. Tearaway bead is still on here, right here. It's just off here. And after it's all done and sanded, I will peel that piece of tearaway bead off around all the edges. I will hand sand it, detail it out a little bit, ready for paint. All that will be done tomorrow, but you won't see me tomorrow because uh, you just saw me tear away the tearaway bead. That's, that's what I wanted to get to. I wanted to get to the point where I was peeling a piece off, and I just did. You guys have a great day. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.